What is up guys, Zan from playbook.gg and in this video we're going to go over a nice passing compliment to that halfback toss that we showed you in yesterday's video. This one also coming from the single back wing tight formation in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Before we dive into this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the great tutorials that we've got headed your way here on the playbook.gg YouTube channel. Okay guys, so welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to break down the PA counter waggle found in the single back wing type formation. I'm going to go ahead and take a time out here so I can show you how this play is set up. But this play has a lot of potential as you notice that there's a number of routes in this play that uh, appear that they can flood zone very, very well. And with the number of players out there that like to run either aggressive blitzing meta zone or just spot drop zone coverage, this should be a nice little pass, especially from a very run heavy set. When you're thinking about how players like to defend three tight end sets, they're either going to go very aggressive with their blitzing, they're going to drop into cover two in the nickel three, three, five. You have the extra pass protection afforded to you. So what I'm going to show you here is a simple setup that is going to serve as a sideline flood by fading the inside tight end Burton you're going to be able to run off the club flat. Now with this play, all you need is three route combinations. So you could do a little max protect kind of gun bunch, uh, curl flat corner style looking play. Uh, the only thing you're gonna notice here is you might want a better receiver than Sims at the tight end spot at the wing. But this is the player that is going to get open. So you see right here, he's gonna get over the top of a club flat. This is gonna be a very simple pitch and catch for you out of this formation. Now, what you will typically see with this is that players that like to run uh, single back wing tight jumbo type formations, defensively, you're going to see a lot of 3-4, some cover 4 drop, show 2. You're going to see a lot of those styles of, uh, of defenses, those drop zones with four, uh, the cover 4 run fit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you right here a different setup. I'm going to actually pick up a few yards on this play just by running a dive and shortening up the down and distance. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to run the ball up the middle here. You see that this actually blocks cover four pretty well. And actually Jordan Howard ends up picking a, a first down. So I'm going to go ahead and no huddle because I want to show you a route combination that sets up very nicely when there are 10 yards or less to go. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to lay down here. This is actually going to be perfect. So... The next thing I'm going to show you is the power of this backside S post. Now, this is something that was popularized last year in competitive Madden when the S post was still pretty darn good. Um, obviously, the S post is a little bit less popular this year, but something you could do when the down and distance is less than 10 is smart route your S post. And smart routing that S post is going to make it break over the middle sooner, which allows us to streak the inside tight end here, and that's going to allow us to run off the safety shell. Now, in terms of the wing tight end side, I like to flat the inside tight end and I'll typically wheel the running back behind him to give me kind of a little uh, wheel screen with a corner over the top. And then on the backside, you've got this S post. So you notice mm -hmm. how Burton is going to run off the coverage and that's gonna open up this little pocket for you to throw that S post over the middle. So what that does is that essentially makes you have to defend the wheel screen to the wide side of the field. And then if you vacate the middle of the field, that allows me to throw the backside smart routed S post. So that's a nice little short down a distance throw that you can make. It appears that we dropped it on the previous play, but um, so we'll go ahead and set it up again here. So uh, again, you're smart routing your S post. You're going to streak Burton to run off that safety. You're going to flat Shaheen and wheel Howard behind him. And what Shaheen is going to do is he's going to pull the flat zone out to the sideline. This is really good against hard flat coverage. And, uh, then you're going to throw the ball as Jordan Howard cuts up. Now, the other thing you could do with this is motion your wing tight end out, and that's going to help widen the coverage a little bit. And you can see that it, it allows us to fit this little wheel throw into that pocket as he cuts up the field. So that's a nice little setup that you can use for down a distance less than 10. Now, we'll go ahead and go back to our previous setup here. We'll show you another example of something you can do. Um, what I like to do with this play is I like to still go ahead and streak, uh, or I'm sorry, fade Burton. And then you're going to run a little mesh concept underneath with your two tight ends. So you'll see that you've got Shaheen on a drag route. Uh, you can actually hot route him to the real drag. Um, you can leave him on his stock route if you wish. Um, but I like to go ahead and put Sims 
on a drag as well. And that's going to give us multiple options underneath. We're just going to block the running back. Once we'll block him to the outside, twice we'll block him up the middle. Now, Robinson's route is a little bit different. Again, this is the S post. You're still going to smart route this to make it break a little bit shorter. It's still going to break over the top of cloud flat coverage. So when you're facing a cover two style defense, those cloud flats on the outside will get cleared. And then you're still using the fade or streak to Burton to pull the safety to the inside. So we're going to go ahead and make this motion. I probably won't have have enough time and he actually blocked right here but that's fine we'll go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and throw this ball out here and we'll still pick up uh, a decent chunk of yardage so um what we're gonna do here is i'll go ahead and snap this a little bit more quickly um again you could do this on a yard uh a down a distance that's shorter than 10 as well you notice when i streak this or smart route the s post it makes it break a little bit shorter so this would be a great opportunity for us to go straight back to our wheel setup um but we're going to go ahead and set up the, the same route combination here again. Um, again, you're going to drag Burton. And you're going to drag, uh, you're actually going to drag Sims as well. Shaheen is going to run the streak. And then you're going to motion Robinson across the formation. And his route should clear that cloud flat zone. You're going to see here we snap the ball just the same as the toss play from a couple days ago. And then you're going to throw this ball out to the sideline behind the uh, the clock flat corner. Now it was just an errant throw. We'll go ahead and run it one more time. Mitch Trubisky, not the most accurate player in Madden 19, but you can see that that route does clear the clock flat. So again, we're streaking Shaheen. We're going to drag Sims to give us the mesh underneath with Burton. You're going to block Howard, and then you're going to motion snap Robinson. And as soon as he gets behind Shaheen, you're going to snap the ball. And you're going to pay attention to the cloud flat on that left side. He's going to run into that void. We go ahead and lead him into the back corner of the end zone for the touchdown. So this is a nice little motion setup that you can use to complement the toss from yesterday's video. And then you've got all these other nice zone flooding route combinations. The backside S post that could be smart routed based off of down and distance. This is a nice little pain in the rear play that you can call. Almost at any point, you could pass out of this as almost your base pass play in this formation. Now, keep in mind, this is a great compliment to all the other Cardinals content on the website, the Ant Cap Cardinals Guide, uh, the Xan and Ant Cap Wing Stat Guide, the KMAC Spread Offense, and then as well as the offense that you guys can find that I wrote for the single back wing tight that's in the Chargers book, but very uh, a lot of that content does apply as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys tomorrow with our next video. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck. If you like this video, check out one of the videos on your screen right now. And for more in-depth analysis, visit www.playbook.gg for detailed game plans written by pro Madden players. Master the game with playbook.gg.